Hi, I'm Beth Geraci, Senior Editor of Golfton Magazine. I'm here with Curtis Tyrell of Medina. And Curtis, what's your official title? I'm the Director of Golf Course Operations, or Head Greenskeeper. Okay, well thank you for being here with us tonight. You just gave a great talk on what it was like hosting the Ryder Cup. And um, one thing I wanted to ask you about is I heard you were very good in dealing with the media for that event. Um, what was that like, dealing with the media, and how did you handle it? Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I enjoyed it very much. It's been a great event. And um, the media, that was a whole new learning experience for me. Um, had, had done some media in my career uh, over the years, but nothing to that level. And um, it was a great, a great opportunity. It started with some media training that the uh, PR agency that the uh, PGA hired to run the Ryder Cup. They put all of the main managers and people associated with the event through some uh, media training downtown. And, and they ran us through a bunch of mock scenarios of radio interviews, TV interviews, uh, print interviews. And they asked us all the hard questions that might come at us and put us in some challenging situations. And so it kind of opened our mind and our understanding of how you want to try to control the interview and the things that you want to do. And so I just tried to use those principles as we went forward. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I've not really heard of any formal media training before, yeah. so it sounds like it paid off. It did. I was happy to have that opportunity, and I, you know, it made me more comfortable when I actually got into those situations. Well, just can you give a little recap of what you talked to the guys tonight about, you know, in terms of your preparations or sure. what you learned in the process? Okay. Yeah, tonight uh, we talked about the five-year process that was really preparing for the Ryder Cup and it started with a big infrastructure project working with Reese Jones and, and redesigning and rebuilding a lot of the agronomic infrastructure on the golf course and uh, that was a couple year process and that transitioned into some team building and some organization development and ultimately the execution of the event and so we showed a bunch of slides that uh, and photos from that whole time period. I just want to ask um, like personally, for you working um, in the preparation of the Ryder Cup, were there any surprises along the way that you learned maybe about yourself or your staff? Um, mm, yeah, oh, I mean, the whole thing was filled with surprises. I mean, I, I'll say in the end, it really exceeded my expectations, but most of my expectations were really blown out of the water on both ends of the scale through the whole process. You know, there was a really tough summers that uh, brought uh, all of us uh, me included, obviously, to our knees in, in, in dealing with, you know, agronomics and growing grass and member relations and media relations, and there were just things that I just never anticipated um, seeing. I mean, we had record-setting uh, heat and rainfall and all at the same time, and so it certainly wasn't what I planned for. Um, and what I learned really was about um, being patient, um, focusing on the task at hand and really sticking to the plan and ultimately that's what we did and it paid off. All right, great. Well, thank you. Thank and you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. All Appreciate right. it. Thanks very much. Um, I'm Beth Geraci and uh, for Golfman TV. Thanks for tuning in.